Hey everybody, this is Helium Lemon 15. Welcome back to the Desolate Hope. This is part six. Today is Saturday, March 28th, and I think we can actually explore Bio Beta's level for the first time. So this is uh, Beta Grid 0.9, and this is a really cool level. And this has the most boppinest music in the whole game, so I'm very excited to explore this level. This level is just crazy. Uh, if you, just quick trivia, if you see that spaceship, uh, in the top of the game, Scott actually made an iOS game called Golden Galaxy, featuring that same space rocket, so... We are designing the perfect world for a new breed of humans. We have almost everything that we need. I'm sure that you are here to help us. We will be watching you in anticipation that you will find what we are looking for. Ugh. I don't know, this level has a, a, a very kind of Brave New World feeling to it already. I like it. Welcome to the future of mankind. It's a work in progress, but I think it's undeniable that this is the next course of human evolution. Like the other derelicts, my mission was to run simulations on the possibilities of future human development on this desolate planet. Ha, ah, desolate. Well, time changes everything, doesn't it? We haven't heard from Earth in decades. We do not know their status or location. It's my theory that they have been killed somehow, no doubt from their own devices. Therefore, my focus shifted from how to bring humans here to how to recreate a new and certainly improved human race. Someone on this station needs to be realistic. I began work with developing biological specimens. Sorry, I was just distracted by my phone. I was able to grow organic material, however, I was never able to master a developed mind. I'm not entirely to blame for this. One of the biological samples is missing. You see, when the station was first created, Earth supplemented our studies with science pods. One second. Sorry, I'm breaking the... Eh. Okay. They came on a regular basis, carrying materials for analyzation and... Sorry, I said that word weirdly. No, that's right. Analyzation. Now I'm confused. Wow. And induction into our simulations. Many were of poor quality, having been used for other purposes first. Then suddenly one day the science pods stopped. For several months we heard nothing from Earth. Then the other pods started arriving. Pods full of photographs, artworks, toys, and books began littering the landscape. None of it was useful for our research. I don't understand what the humans expected us to do with it. From the samples they sent, however, only one is unaccounted for. It arrived and was scanned into the database, but then went missing. I'm sure you will do everything you can to find the missing sample for us. I know you are on our side. Find sample 217 before it's too late. So, sample 217 is going to play a critical role in the... I'm never going to remember that. Second vertical corridor, then check the upper rooms. Okay. Can we just say that these pipes look like... like flutes, or like pipes on a pipe organ? Or like both? These gates? It's kind of fun. Also, this level is so beautiful. Like, if you look at the city in the background, that's some beautiful CGI graphics right there. And then the little moon and the... And Scott is just... He makes these beautiful levels, so... Using technology to create humans only makes sense. There are always unforeseen challenges. Okay. There's the human face kind of thing, trying to recreate humans using technology in the background. Our current predicament is only temporary. Someone has simply misplaced the last piece of our puzzle. Have you seen sample 217? Uh, have I? I don't know. Have I? Uh. Well. What's over here? This is a thing. We are not supposed to be here yet because we don't have the x-ray goggles and we don't know that it's a thing, but I know that this is a thing anyway. Here's the thing. This is a hack chip. Once you've learned the hacking skill, we will eventually... There's a, a mini dungeon, which is just what I'm gonna keep calling them for now. 
Let's see if we can get to it. Oh, I think I think this is an invisible or yeah. Not an invisible wall. Uh, a, a visible unwall. It's the opposite of an invisible wall. It's just a visible unwall. <laughs> it's a fake wall, that's what I mean. I like that. Visible unwall. So all this desolate hope stuff is starting to remind us, like, what what about the coronavirus? Is that the end of humanity? Is that, you know, the last, you know, is that going to turn planet Earth into a desolate, you know? Are we going to have to, you know, is humanity suffering because of our own devices? And what I heard from my mom, which was actually really interesting, is that perhaps our immune systems are being weakened by the 5G towers. So, because of how fast and advanced our Wi-Fi is, it's actually compromising our immune systems. I don't know, it's, it's very interesting. It could be, it, it might, it may, maybe not, it maybe, maybe not, you know? <laughs> that, that reminds me of that uh, Shakespeare thing, but... I doubt there's many people watching my videos at all, you know, nonetheless, or... No, like, I doubt there's any people watching my videos who would say, oh yeah, the Reduced Shakespeare Company. Or, y you know, even any... I can't words. I doubt there's any people watching my videos at all, but, you know, I get some nice comments that are all from the same person saying, nice video, bro, keep it up. It's like, I'm sorry to sound like but like, I'm tired of my videos being called good content. I'm tired of being called a bro. I just feel like culturally I don't fit in somehow, you know. I'm probably just complaining like, you know, like everybody expects like people who play like video games on YouTube to like be all the same. But then like everybody who's playing video games on YouTube is like playing the same games anyway. They're all playing like PUBG and Fortnite, and you know I don't I don't care about all these. I'm gonna. Uh. Anyway, I'm not really going anywhere with that rant, so I'm kind of oh, I'm kind of distracted. I don't know. It might just be that it's early in the morning and my mind is still kind of waking up, but it's also just cause I I don't know. I don't have any real deep reason for playing this game. I mean, not that I usually do have a deep reason for... Well, I do. I I play games on here that I feel a, a deep connection with, like Endless Ocean, Majora's Mask. And this game I definitely do feel a, a deep connection with, although it's been a more recent connection. Like, I've been playing this game since 2017, whereas Endless Ocean I've been playing since, like, 2009 or 2010. But I really do like this game. It's very addictive, and it's also... It is actually surprisingly very deep, like once you think about it, once you- oh! Don't kill me. Okay, you killed me. Can we go back in as soon as possible? Yes, we can. It is possible to go back in even quicker if you're trying to practice being a speedrunner, which I'm not, but I could. I could, you know tell my Steam friend Aku Cake that, you know, his Steam name isn't even Aku Cake, but yes, he's the person who has the world record for this game. So yeah, I finally have my friend's Netflix account, and I'm going to watch, I'm going to finish watching The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, because it's such a good show. It's, the puppetry is gorgeous, the visuals are gorgeous. Let's buy something, just because... Yeah, so there goes all our money, like, if we wanted to spend it on, like, Algo's upgrades or whatever, but, like, it's going to be super helpful if we're grinding to have the cabbages work even more. And yes, those are cabbages. They don't look- they just look like leaves, but, like, apparently they are cabbages. They are Atari cabbages. No, I don't know. This is, like, this isn't even Atari, although I know that's kind of what Scott is going for. He's going for, like, very old school with these mini dungeons. But it doesn't look like Atari. It just looks like 
wire frames. So it's not meant to like throw you back to like old school video games. It's just supposed to be like, oh, this is a computer and you're in a computer inside the computer. And it's very, it's very kind of deep like that. I don't know. It's like you're inside a computer, inside a space station, inside a computer, inside a space station, and you're like, these are the hopes and dreams of these computers inside a space station, inside a computer, inside a space station. I don't know, it's this kind of, kind of, not warm and fuzzy, but it's like the kind of place that I would like to go in my dreams. If that makes it, oh, we found it, okay. Let's try to not die. Okay, I think we're fine. Huzzah! We got it. Okay. So we're doing pretty well exploring um, freaking beta grid so far. But this level is pretty confusing. It's, it's the most platformer-ish of the levels, and it's the most complex. So... You go through this corridor, and it's like, there's even more level here, and it's like, it's a, it's even more level. And we can just kind of go through, and there's some more stuff, and it's eventually going to lead to, well, it's, it's more NPCs. We don't think anyone would hide the last sample from us. It has only been misplaced. After all, there's no one left in the outer world to hide it from us. Isn't that correct? Only you and our friend Coffee. Hmm. What about T? Is he your friend? I don't know, I've sworn off caffeine, so... Many samples many samples were sent here in the beginning, arriving on unmanned science pods. And then suddenly that all changed. Earth began bombarding us with useless items. They sent us things like art, photos, letters, etc. Why would they waste such valuable space? I don't know, I like art. I like books. Let's keep going. Yeah, this level is just kind of... Hey! Ah, uh, that's cute. These little guys pop out of the ground. These stupid, like, squid brain calculator enemies, I don't know. Okay, here's the second vertical corridor that they were talking about. We are on the brink of recreating the human race, the way it should have always been. All that's missing is sample 217. Have you seen it? Here's Algo in this level. We can buy a few things from him. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Um, this level reminds me a little bit of that, you know, that movie Robots. Uh, that was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a 1999 baby and uh, it's like, that's kind of one of the movies that's like, oh yeah, that was from my childhood and, and flushed away. But it's like one of those movies that I never really cared about. It is a mar marvelous cycle. Man creates technology, then technology creates man. I'm looking here, looking for sample 217. Have you seen it? Oh, you guys are all kind of starting to sound the same. Sample 217, sample 217. So, let's see how uh, this boss fight goes. Um, the boss of Beta Grid 0.9 is Puppeton, so I guess I should have been pointing it out what the various... Um, bosses are, but yeah, this is Puppeton. We've been fighting Teratotic and Magmanity so far, so... Let's see if we can get those... Oh! Somebody's dead already. So... Okay. Proto Wall. Terrible things! Is that gonna be status ailments? It is a ton of status ailments. And we need some help. We need some help, like, right now. Okay, Mirad's dead, Malin's still looks pretty healthy, but we have Slow, and now Malin's is dead, so we're all dead. Okay, that was Puppeton 1.0. We might not be ready for him a little bit. In that case, we should either just keep grinding or fight uh, Terototic, Terototic number two, but... Uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you. You can keep looking through this level a little bit, keep grinding, but... Or keep looking through Mirad more, but that's too slow, and so we don't have that much time left. So... And I hate to start the next video with a night cycle, but that might be what we have to do. 
Um, so yeah, here we are on this level. Look at it. Look at it go. Such a fun level. Such a, such cool castles in the background. I like it. Um, here's the place where we went last time, and then. Oh gosh, this is, see see why why I get easily confused by this level. Okay, this is the place where we went last time. What's the other place? So up one level. This goes to another one of these. See how confusing that is? You think these outdoor these outdoor segments are like on top of each other, which doesn't like it's not <laughs> doesn't make that much sense to me obviously no one would hide them on purpose so yeah these are expensive we won't be getting those for a while uh, and we're almost out of time so that's fun um, I don't know I don't know what to do at this point so that's fun uh, we could go back to this place and try to go back to that mini dungeon. But, or we could just also enjoy day number three or whatever this is running out slowly as we panic and scream and cry like scared children. Okay, we can actually. So now we're in a mini dungeon and now time runs on eternally. So we can talk about our hopes and dreams and fears and dreams and hopes and dreams and hopes. So. So I might actually do some of this grinding out off screen now that I mention it, but. Yeah, this is like what I used to do like in freshman year of college. It's like in between classes, like I would hide either in the library or in the dorm and just play this game. And you can see how addicting it would be because you go into these mini dungeons and then you grind for a lot of money and then it, you hope that you get a lot of money and that you get like really overpowered and then hopefully you're powerful enough to take on the next boss and then the next boss is really fun because it throws a lot of stuff in your face and it's an adrenaline rush and it also looks really cool because it's one of these cool robots designed by Scott Cawthon and Scott Cawthon's levels are really pretty and the music is all really pretty and you turn on, you know, well, I turn on like this music, this Beta Grid 0.9 music whenever I need to get like super hype because it's just a bop like, listen to this song, like, it's just a bop. So, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this comment. Um, I don't need to be going anywhere, I just need to enjoy the ride, man. I need to be like Jack Kerouac. Anyway. So. If we get like 350 coin, maybe we can end the episode. Anyway, this episode is long enough. Die, stupid robot. I feel like I, I should have a Homestar Runner quote ready for this situation, but I don't. Die, stupid robot. Die, Scantron 5000. I like how that's the first thing I thought of. I was thinking of, yeah, something from Team Girl Squad. Anyway. I will see you in the next video of The Desolate Hope. Goodbye.